Freeze frame. In this video, I wanna give you a couple tips and tricks for how to do freeze frames in Premiere Pro. The first option is to move your playhead where you want the freeze frame to occur, find the clip that you want to apply the freeze frame to, right click, and go to insert frame hold segment. And we now have a two second freeze frame where we inserted our frame hold. Notice that it automatically shifted the rest of the clips over to the right. Now to increase or decrease the duration of your freeze frame, put your cursor near the edit, hold command on Mac or control on Windows. And when you get the yellow icon, it's the ripple edit tool and you can push out the edit further or pull it in closer. Now, if you notice by using insert frame hold, we've created a cut in every single clip on the timeline, which is something that you may not want. So let me undo this. What you may want to do is hold shift and lock off all of your video tracks and audio tracks, and then just deselect the video and audio track that you want to create the frame hold on, right click and insert frame hold segment. Now I've maintained the position of the rest of the clips on the timeline because they were locked off, but I have inserted that frame hold on the clip that I wanted to. In my opinion, insert frame hold is the easiest way to do this technique, but it may not be the best for certain situations. In fact, insert frame hold starts to fall apart in an example like this when we start doing time remapping. So what I'm gonna do is first speed up this clip, then I'm going to right click this little effects button, go to time remapping, speed, and now we're looking at the keyframes of this balloon. I'm gonna hold command on Mac or control on Windows to create a keyframe where it starts to pop. And then I want it to speed back up right about here. So I'll hold command or control again and click. And we've created two keyframes. Now I'm going to grab and I'll have this go down to maybe 10%. So it goes Now, if I were to insert a frame hold, watch what happens. Let's say we wanted a freeze frame right here. I right click, do insert frame hold segment and that is completely not the frame that I wanted to insert my frame hold. So a better method in this circumstance is to export a still frame from Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna undo that. And this is our still frame. All you have to do is go to the little camera right here, click that. If you don't have access to this camera, just go to the plus sign to the bottom right of your program monitor, click that and drag the camera icon onto your menu, hit okay. So I'm going to hit export frame and you can name this. Select a format, I prefer PNG. You can save it to a specific path. And what I like to do is import it directly into the project. We're going to hit okay, export that frame. It goes directly into my project bin. And now I'm going to click and drag this onto my timeline. And what you wanna do is hold command on Mac or control on Windows. That way when you drop it into the timeline, it automatically shifts everything over to the right. Now I'll use that same ripple tool technique to shorten the duration of the clip by holding command or control while I'm dragging the edit point of the clip. Maybe you could add your own title on top of it. So it goes something like free frame. There is one more way that I wanna show you how to add a freeze frame within Premiere Pro, and it involves another cool technique of this like stutter camera picture taking effect. Let me show it to you. Let's say I wanna create a frame hold right before he kicks the ball into the net. So I'm gonna move my playhead to where I want it to start, right click, and instead of doing insert frame hold segment, we're gonna do add frame hold. What this does is play the clip up until that edit point, and now it creates a frame hold for the remainder of the clip. Now you could make this bigger or smaller if you wanted to, but from the edit point, I'm going to go five frames in by holding shift and the right arrow key, right click, and then I'm going to add another frame hold. The great thing about using insert frame hold and add frame hold is it maintains the time code of what the clip is. So at this point, it kind of stutters into what the frame is at this point in the time code of the clip. So I'm gonna skip another five frames, right click, do add frame hold, and I'll repeat that process for a couple iterations until the last add frame hold where I'll right click and instead of going to add frame hold, 
I go to frame hold options. Right here, we do have another way of doing frame holds inside Premiere Pro, but mainly I want to turn off my frame hold. So it says, hold on, and I'm going to uncheck this and hit okay. So notice that we get some marks right here, which is okay. What it's really showcasing to me is that I went over the limit when I was moving around the clip back here. So at this point, we have this little camera stutter effect, but there's more that I wanna to add to this to elevate the effect like using a dip to white transition. This will kind of give the effect that we're taking a picture with a flash. So I'm gonna go to my effects panel. If you don't have that up, just go to window, effects, and I type in dip, and I'm going to drop in a dip to white. I'll use my cursor to make that a little bit shorter. One other trick I'll try is to scale and rotate in with each iteration of the freeze frame. Then at the end, I'll keyframe it back into its original framing. And a couple more effects that I added were changing these to black and white. I also put a little film burn in there, as well as this little sphere popping right when he kicks the ball, so it gives like some force, like bam. And the end result looks like this. Oh man, I'm kicking a ball, boom! in your face. Pretty cool, right? If this was helpful, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you want some more tips and tricks for Premiere Pro, there's other videos on the screen right now. And until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.